Hey, it's Tim here. And in 2020.3, Tableau has continued to enhance a feature called Dynamic Parameters. This time, if you're an author of a workbook, you don't have to close the workbook and open it again to see the dynamic update happen. You can just do an extract refresh as normal and actually the parameter updates automatically. Let me show you how that works. If you remember, I did a video on this in 2020.1. Be sure to check that out in the description below and it's also gonna pop up here as a link on the screen. And in order to do this, I just need to go to edit data source and make sure that I'm connected to the right data source. Now, since the last video, 2020.2 has come out and it's brought the ability to edit relationships. So if you're following along from my old video, you'll see this migrated data sort of symbol. You can actually just go ahead, remove this and bring in the orders table. That's all we need for this particular thing. So now it's working with the new relationship setup. We don't need to worry about that in the moment. Now, if we go back to our forecast view, it's gonna recreate the extract. It's gonna make sure the fields sit exactly as they are. And now you can see everything is still here as it's supposed to. Now we're pretty much set up. You can see that I have uh, just three segments here. And if I click on this drop down here and edit the parameter, you will see the new feature that was added in 2020.1. Let me just highlight it for you here. When workbook opens for this particular parameter, update it from the segment, okay? So we're now gonna update the data source. I'm gonna change the Excel file that we're connected to. So let's go here, edit data source. And I'm gonna go into this edit connection. And this time I'm gonna switch to the original Superstore file. Uh, click open. Uh, I did this thing where I named it slightly funny. I named it original main and original original. Uh, we've all been there, don't laugh, um, let's go. So let's go back to the forecast. What I should expect to see is a date in 2020 at the very right hand side of the line. And I should also see that my segment and the parameter driving those segments has also updated itself. So let's go ahead to the forecast tab. By doing that, it will trigger an extract refresh. So there you go, you can see that I've got my date here, my new maximum in 2020. And if I go to consumer, you can see I've now got the new corporate segment without having to update the visualization. So this is great. It means that if you're an author, you can now build this and refresh the data and boom, your uh, parameters automatically refresh. If you use this in the past, this is gonna be a great time saver for you. It's a small quality of life improvement, but it's about time uh, it's long overdue. Okay, that's it. If you've enjoyed this video, check out some of the other content on the channel. Check out some of the 2020.3 playlist items. Otherwise, if not, let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the comments below and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.